drive here and I just compiled a video and I uh, want to ask you a question. First off, let me uh, explain what's going on. We had three calls, three different fog drain issues in the same toilet. And we snaked it and uh, figured out, well, hey, it was a, uh, a soft clog, you know, just the normal stuff the clog still is. And um, long story short was uh, week after week for about three weeks, we kept having the same issue in here. We even bought a brand new toilet thinking, hey, you know, maybe there's some calcium causing the slow, it's a slow flush, you know, a slow flush, you know, so we're doing everything we can to figure out what's going on, then I said, you know what, let me go ahead and use my scope and look underneath that toilet, because everything else is draining fine, it's just this one toilet has a slow flush, so finally, after the third time, I, uh, Used my scope, took the toilet off, looked down the, the, the drain, and about four feet down to the right, I used the scope and I saw a red pipe inside the drain, just inside the sewer line. I was like, or the drain line. What, what is this thing? First, we thought maybe it was a, a tool, someone may have dropped something down there and it just got kept getting pushed back further and further. Well, that's not it. I realized after trying to uh, cut through it that it was metal. So I was like, this is a freaking pipe. Someone put a damn pipe in that drain, uh, in, in the line. And it was like, so, long story short is, we had to bust through the ground, okay? Dig underneath the slab, and we cut out a four foot pipe, a four foot broomstick that was placed in the air vent of the house, okay? That basically caused the line to have a slow flush. And here's the thing the thing is this, is that I want you all to think about something. Who did this? Could it have been the previous tenant? Could it have been uh, a previous worker that worked on the house somewhere and you just didn't like you, you didn't get along, or maybe you argued about the price, so they wanted to come back and they sabotaged the house in order to get you to call them back, which people have done, just like mechanics do, just like plumbers do it. You know, if you don't, if, if you don't get along with them, you know what? Hey, guess what? A few weeks later, they can come back and sabotage your house in order to give them a call back, and then they'll make their money back that way. So you have to think about all these things. There's some bad apples out there. Not all of them. I'm just trying to say there's a few bad people out there that have malicious intent, and that's why whenever I do work for anybody, whenever I have the chance at uh, the time, it's kind of slim chickens, but I will make time for certain people that really need my assistance because I don't want them to get had by some other people. And there's some, you know, if I can't do a project, I'll be straightforward, be like, hey, I can't do this. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is you always be mindful. Whenever you have anyone working for you at your house, you want to have, make sure that you're there too so you can watch over them. Uh, I mean, you don't want to be a hunchback over them, you know, but I mean, you can watch over them, you know, uh, just kind of like see what they're doing because you just don't know that car, that car's fender is falling off. I don't know if you see that. That's weird. Anyway, I should be recording this while I'm driving to our house to uh, finish a project. But the point is, is this is a compiled video of what happened. And the fourth time we got called back, I was like, Jesus. These people did not get sabotaged again by the same people. You know what I mean? Because uh, we just busted through the ground. 
And long story short was, it was just a uh, regular softball. And we snaked that bad boy out, and it's running smooth. Smooth. Enjoy the video, and let me show you what Today on Phil's old house, we are going to be going up onto a roof and looking into the vent to see if it was a sabotage on the house because we had a sabotage on a house where they put a freaking broomstick down the vent and we had to bust through the ground and get it. So we got a ladder here and uh, yeah, my buddy Richard is going to be helping me today. All right, so I'm gonna be, this is for my. So here we are on top of a roof today, and we'll be looking through. down this pipe and it looks clear to me so that's good from that's good that's good and we're waiting for my buddy Richard to bring the backup ladder because the ladder that I was using is very flimsy and Richard's bringing the backup right now to uh, so what we're gonna have to do is we are going to clean this drain. It's a pretty pretty view. 